always been a robust conversation about athletic scholarships at American colleges. Those who believe jocks are being handed far too much in being able to just play a game and not nearly enough in being ready to face life after their sport. Uh, something intellectual, if you will. But at universities such as Robert Morris in Illinois, the times are changing. That means athletic scholarships for sports that wouldn't seem to fit the mold, but might fit what the world is coming to. Let's welcome to Midpoint. He's the Associate Athletic Director at the aforementioned Robert Morris University, Illinois. Kurt Melcher joins us today. Kurt, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, Ed. Here you go, Kurt. You're talking about eSports here and basically giving guys and gals scholarships for being able to play video games. I got to tell you, the first thing most people would say is, oh, come on, Kurt, playing video games under a scholarship? Are you serious? Right, right. And we've, and we've run into some of that. But, but overall, it's been, a, it's been a very positive response. But why, though? Why would you want to give athletic, because here we go, athletic scholarships for sitting in a chair and playing a game? Right. There's, you know, this game that we're giving a scholarship for is called League of Legends, and it, it's massive. Um, you know, 27 million people play this game a day. Um, it has a lot of, um, you know, same characteristics that traditional sports do, minus the athleticism. You play within a team. Uh, it's a five-person versus five-person game. You play, obviously, online, but each individual on that, uh, on your five-person team has a specific role that you sort of uh, have to perform to have your team have success. So you have to know your role within, uh, within the team and in the game. You learn how to win and lose. So there's a lot of parallels between traditional sports and, uh, and eSports, League of Legends specifically. Okay, hang on a sec. You're saying a lot of things here that go along with it. A, there's nothing athletic in this whatsoever that is involved other than hand-eye coordination, which can some people might say, but there's nothing athletic. And we're talking about giving people money to be able to attend college to play a video game. you got to see where that's going here, Kurt. I do, right? and, and we're not saying it's athletic. We're saying it's an e-sport, right? So it's an electronic sport. It's certainly, I don't think anyone can deny that it's a, it's, a, it's a legitimate competition. It takes a lot of strategy. It takes very strategic minds to be successful. So, you know, we're not saying that this is the same as football or the same as tennis or hockey. We're saying that it does have validity, though. So us providing a scholarship for e-sports to get sort of the best players to compete for our university uh, in that setting, I, I think just makes sense and, and doesn't go, you know, just to, sort of a little thinking outside of, of the norm. How much money are we talking a year in scholarship? Uh, students here are getting 50% tuition and 50% room and board for our top scholarships. Okay, if they then go into the game and they wind up getting uh, crushed in the first level every uh, 16 days in a row, do they get their scholarship revoked? No, no, we have coaches hired and, and their job You have is coaches? Wait a minute, play. stop. You have coaches for this as well? I, we have five coaches hired, actually. And, uh, and they take it very seriously. And even those practices mirror sort of a, a traditional practice. You know, they, they go over game tape of opponents coming up and, and break down strategies that'll work. So, like I said, there's a lot of similarities. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you've got to then answer this. Some people are saying that the only reason Robert Morris is doing this is because you basically want to get, it's a gimmick to get something shed on you, get national light shed there for something else that wouldn't work otherwise, and you want to bring students into Robert Morris. Fair or not? I don't think that's fair because if we just wanted to do that, we wouldn't have to pay coaches. We wouldn't have to pay to retrofit to build an eSport arena. We wouldn't pay, you know, we would just give scholarships to get players, to get people here. So we're doing it to get students engaged. The school realizes that a student that's engaged in something outside of the classroom performs at a higher rate, graduates at a higher rate. And we also recognize that not every kid wants to play traditional athletics. Like I said, 27 million people play this game a day. The viewership for League of Legends outpaces NCAA Final Four and the World Series. So that's what this demographic of college-age students is doing. They're playing these games. Okay, so well, I, I do have to ask this, though. Why don't you get – well, I only got 30 seconds left. It's a lot here. Do you give your, your chess coaches uh, money as well? <laughs> do they get athletic scholarships? That's a game. We, yeah, we don't have a chess team Oh, yet. okay. How much do you pay the coaches? Uh, the coaches are part-time, so they get a part-time salary. I mean, we don't have any full-time coaches, really that many here at our school at all. So, um, you know, the difficulty is finding a coach because there's not many 40, 30-year-old coaches of League of Legends out there. Yeah, I can imagine that. Is I, I can't think of one of them. Uh, Ten seconds left. Has the NCAA contacted you now to see if you want to become part of it? Because I mean, NCAA gets its hands in everything, Kurt. They, they don't. I don't think they want any part of eSports, which I yeah. think in the long run they'll regret. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk to you the day you get the NCAA to talk about putting this under their auspices. That would be funny. Kurt Melcher, it's a fascinating story. Good luck with the team. I understand you're doing very well. We'll catch up again. Thank you very much. All right, take up. Next up, the controversial push 
for Death with Dignity in California. It's coming up right here.